Hello everybody, welcome to my book review. Today we're going to be discussing The Optician of Lampedusa by Emma Jane Kirby. And I have to say, I am really thrilled that I'm able to discuss this book with you because I think it is incredibly pertinent and desperately necessary for, this is actually the novelized retelling of a true story. Emma Jane Kirby is a journalist. She's a journalist that specializes in international affairs. She's written um, correspondence and reports from everywhere from Brussels to Afghanistan. But there was a report she wrote a couple of years ago called The Optician of Lampedusa, which won a series of awards because of its very powerful first-hand account of a man who, it, from the Sicilian island of Lampedusa, who came involved and led a spontaneous rescue of drowning migrants off the, uh, in, in Italian waters. The optician of Lampedusa f is focused on the optician himself. He is a resident of the island and in a day out on Italian waters, he and his friends go out for a boating trip in the late summer sun. It's October a couple of years ago and they go out for a day, a day on the sea. However, on their return trip, they come across a capsized, sabotage, damaged boat, which was holding hundreds of migrants fleeing war-torn North Africa for the sanctuary and promise of a future in Europe. What then unfolds is that this man and his friends undertake a desperate and immediate rescue of as many people as they can get hold of. However, their boat only hold, can only hold a few dozen people and there are several hundred in the water. And what follows is a very desperate, harrowing account of man having to play God, of who they these people decide they can save and who they cannot rescue. Do they focus on those nearest to them? Do they let go of the people that are too far away for them to get near to rescue? It is a very powerful retelling of a story, that of a tale, of a report that we think we know so well. And what I particularly liked about it is it really demonstrates the power of storytelling because Emma Jane Kirby didn't have to turn this well, um, well received report into a book, but because she did, we now have the ability to use creative writing to really capture your attention and make you care and also get the story to as wide an audience as possible. For at the center of the book, this book is about the awakening of a human conscience, awakening of human courage. For the optician, like many of us, he knew the reports of the boats and indeed because he lived in Lampedusa, he often saw many migrants arriving on the island. However, like many of us, he's also turned the page, turned channels when it's come on the news. It's a story we think we know, we don't want to get involved, we're trying to pretend it isn't happening. This is possibly a book about white guilt, but what I found particularly powerful about it is its resonance because it is true. And that's why when we can hit, get this story from the optician about how he is completely turned around by his experience of rescuing these men and women in the Italian waters, how he's heartbroken that he can't res rescue anymore, the trauma and nightmares that his wife continues to have afterwards because they didn't save enough, the lengths these guys go to to try and follow what happens to the survivors, how that shows the, uh, the way that we've treated these um, very vulnerable men and women as they've uh, arrived in European shores and the very sort of dark shadows of putting them in camps uh, and giving them numbers and what that sort of the nightmares that brings back from recent history. I can understand why some people would want to read this and say, oh, but I want to hear the true tragedy is the lives of the men and women who are fleeing Eritrea and Somalia. That's the tragedy, the price uh, they've had to pay to get across uh, waters into Europe and the desperate stories they must have. I get that. And indeed, it's important to remember that books can't be all stories to all people. And I do really want to hear the stories of the men and women who've been fleeing Africa. But the purpose of this book, by focusing it on the optician's point of view, is to awaken our conscience, is to awaken our courage. This is a beautifully written book. A huge plaudits to Emma Jane Kirby for writing such a compelling narrative when you can sometimes think as a reporter she might be quite dry, it might be quite sort of stilted, but this is in completely evocative and emotive and it's very powerful and there are lots of um, reviews and indeed I know people who've cried from pretty much the first page to the last and it did really hit home I was very affected by it this is a powerful account and a desperately desperately needed book please read this this is The Optician of Lampedusa by Emma Jane Kirby